So I was sitting at home, getting ready to crawl in my nice warm bed, and my phone rang. So now I am headed out in the snow to go clean up an accident call, which is something I pretty much never do. Apparently someone was pulling a U-Haul car trailer. When someone hit the trailer, damaged it, and caused an accident. Okay, that happens. They were gonna unload the car off that car trailer, drive the car, and be on their way. And I am gonna go out and get the damaged trailer, and bring it back to my place, and then eventually take it back to U-Haul. But then, about 10 minutes later, I get a call from someone saying that they got in a wreck and are off the side of the road and need winched back onto the road. They said someone pulling a U-Haul trailer hit them, caused an accident, and knocked them off the road. And big surprise, they're at the same location. So now I am heading out there. I have no idea what I'm about to get myself into. It's nine o'clock at night on a Monday night and starting to snow. So I'm kind of wishing I would have just crawled in bed. But we're gonna go out here, and see what we find. Okay, we're just getting into the town of Alfalfa. As you can see right here, the town is closed. And now we are leaving the town of Alfalfa. That was it. All right, it's not snowing, but it has snowed. So you can see there's only one packed down path in the middle because they haven't plowed yet. So when another car comes, you gotta get out on the powder on the outside, creep past each other, and then you each get back into that center spot that's packed down until the plows get out here. Okay, everything's supposed to be here at this stop sign lights that way there's lights this looks like a van let's go see yes all right okay he's got a blown tire the back is wedged in right here so I can't pull him backwards so I'll just crumple that corner so you have to pull them forward up onto the road over here, but luckily there is no traffic on this road. Okay, I'm gonna grab my truck, set it up here, see if I can pull them over and up onto the road. Hopefully. Okay, we got our scene light, had everything lit up. I got flashy lights, everybody, don't worry. Winch line running down here to the front. Okay, turn it all the way this way. Put it in drive. All right, just let me pull for a sec and see if that truck stays still. Which it doesn't. Okay, give a little throttle. Okay, looks like the truck settled in. It is super soft under that snow. Okay, let off a little. Man, this ground is soft. That tire's flat. That fender's mangled. Luckily, there is no traffic out here. Once those ice chocks bite in, they hold really good. Okay, we're gonna have to reset a little bit. Probably get the strap will pull you from here. All right, we got really lucky again, and a plow truck showed up in the middle of recovery. It's not Brad this time, which was super disappointing, but he's gonna throw us down a few little cinders. Hopefully get a little grip on the road, and then he's gotta head up the road to keep cleaning up this mess. Awesome. There he goes. Awesome, thank you. All right, let's see how this goes.
Okay, some good news and some bad news we found out from the plow truck. Uh, bad news, there's a big wreck up there up the road a little farther where all these people were going. It's got the whole highway shut down. There's like four semis, two rolled over, I guess, two sided in the road. So I just stopped that guy and had him go into bend and out to 20 and around so he doesn't go this way and get stuck behind that accident. The good news is, since the road's closed right here, that means there's no traffic. That's why I didn't feel sketchy at all about pulling that guy across the road with the strap. I normally don't like doing that because if someone comes in the middle of the night, you're sideways across the road on ice, but then I found out the road's closed, so no big deal. All right, we're gonna go get this U-Haul trailer checked out and see what we can do to it and uh, get it loaded up and get out of here. Okay, so now we're coming over here to check on this U-Haul trailer. It is, uh, it's not in the best of shape. Okay, now I can change the tires. Well, that makes things easier. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, I pulled both the tires off the front axle, use those to make one good back axle. This front one's uh, bent back a little bit, but we're gonna drop this down, which is gonna pick the front axle up because I put the tires under it. So now I'm gonna take a chain and chain it up, and then when I go around the front and pick up the front, this whole front axle and hubs, everything stays off the ground, and we ride on the back axle. Fine. Oh man. Wow. So that is a stop sign. These people just went through it like 50. Those guys are still down there changing the tire on that trailer. That was sketchy, sketchy. But on my end, I've got my lights on it. I've got that fender strapped out of the way. Um, good tires on the back axle. The back axle is luckily straight and good. The front one's messed up, but we got it chained up where the front one's off the ground. Got it hooked up to the wheel lift. And I really want to get out of here now so I'm gonna go check on these guys make sure they're about good to go and get out of here as well and then we all got to go back out that way not that way because apparently there's a massive accident with like four semis up there which is why the road is closed so did it bend the, the hub or the spindle I have no idea at this point. well if the spindle's bent and that tire's dragging a little we're I mean it's not gonna wear out the tire here yeah. on ice so it'll get you into town yeah, the bare minimum we can It'll get, get you out. out of here. Yeah. Okay, they're getting their last lug nuts tightened up. Uh, DOT finally showed up and is shutting the road down officially. I've got my trailer hooked up and I am good to go, so we're going home. So to show you how busy it is tonight, just while I was there at that accident scene, both Crook County 911 Dispatch and Deschutes County 911 Dispatch has called me multiple times to go assist with other accident scenes in both counties. And I'm not on any police rotations. I, I don't do that. So if they're calling me, that means every other tow company that is on police rotation, which is pretty much all of them, is busy and can't do anything. So it is definitely a bad night to be out on the road. Just me driving back this one, it is ice, ice slick. But for those of you who keep asking about updates on the studs and the tires, uh, they're holding up great. I haven't lost any of them, and I've got probably 3,500, 4,000 miles on them. And uh, you saw me pull that van and trailer right out of the ditch without spinning a tire. I mean, the cinders help, but uh, they work really good and they're holding up. So there you go. But aside from all that, it is 11 o'clock at night and it is 18 degrees outside. So, so I'm taking my little broken trailer going home and I am going to bed so that's gonna be it for this one thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed something that I don't normally do and uh, we'll see you next time